All right, guys, today's going to be a quick one because uh, I really have to get home and list. I have to list, list, list because uh, my sales have really slowed down and I have really been lacking in this in the listing department. So I'm here at the storage unit and I'm going to show you what sold real quick. And then I got to go back home and list. All right, the first one we got here is the Santa playing tennis and um sold rather quick it sold for 23 dollars and 75 cents plus shipping and i think i have like a dollar into that i got this off of ebay couples uh yard sale next item we got here is this little bombshell superman this was part of uh monique's um little collection she's getting rid of and that guy sold for seven dollars plus shipping we have a couple funkos that sold this batman right here sold for 17 dollars plus shipping this guy here, Crossbones, sold for $5 plus shipping. And then I have a pair of boxing gloves at home that sold for $30 free shipping. Uh, they're 16 ounces, um, 16 ounce a piece, so that's like two pounds right there. And they're personal items, nothing I got at, uh, for resale, just items I've had, uh, had for a while. And I just wanted to get rid of them. All right, and then we sold the Skeletor action figure. Uh, for $45 plus shipping. This is a new figure that came out uh, early this year. Um, I forgot I had pre-ordered it, but uh, I decided to put it back up for sale because I'm really cutting down on my collection. At this time when I ordered this, I had a big old pre-order list and I was like, dude, you gotta slow down. Stop wasting your money. Really cool figure though. And then our last item right here, the whistle, the Aztec whistle, the Jaguar whistle, the deaf whistle, whatever you want to call it. It sold, it sold for $30. I took a best offer, uh, $30 plus uh, shipping. I'm gonna send that priority in a padded flat rate, a box six by four by four and toss that in a priority um, just cause I don't want it to bounce around and break. Um, it's funny cause I've been hearing recently a lot about this item here. Uh, Joe Rogan talked about this item on his podcast and they're saying that right after they started blowing into the whistle that they have, which they used it a lot. Um, and that the coronavirus started after that. And then I heard uh, one of my viewers um, told me that uh, somebody in their family, I think a brother or something, got one of these uh, that the, the stepfather bought, brought him one. And then after, ever since, the mom has been seeing ghosts in their place. So can these be cursed? What do you think? But that's it, guys. Like I said, short video. Okay, I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I kind of made this last minute decision and run down to a SVDP uh, down the street from my house. Let's haven't had much luck here lately, but I was like, why not? Let's check it out. Let's see if there's anything good. All right, I found a couple of things. I found three things. Three, I paid for three things, but it's many things, if that makes sense. Um, I was surprised, it looks like the, I don't even wanna say that, because every time I say that, I come back and then there's they're back to where they were. Let me just show you what I got. So, the first item I got here is this Funko Pop Assassin's Creed Loot, Loot Crate Exclusive Aguilar Crouching. Um, and uh, yeah, he was 99 cents. 
doesn't go for much brand new. It goes for like, I think I've seen between five and eight bucks. I paid a dollar for him. The box is damaged, so odds don't look good, but I might just hold on to him because every once in a while when you find, you know, I find uh, loose Funkos and um, just put them together in a lot and sell them that way. So I might do that. I might just set them aside for a bit and, um, and put them in a lot and sell them that way. And then, what was that? And then I found these, um, along with some hair. Oh, check that out. These Star Wars chess pieces. So we got a Stormtrooper. We got Darth Vader right there. Pretty sweet. You know what I'm saying? Pretty sweet. Got some gear. They're just plastic pieces. They're not pewter or anything. But a bunch of... Uh, different we got uh, I forgot his name uh, Finn Luke Skywalker uh, Han Solo some more Stormtrooper clone trooper action here so nice little bag that was a dollar ninety nine and it didn't have a price on it um, and this is one of those stores where like, if it doesn't have a price, we can't sell it. It's like, well, don't put things out that don't have prices. Or have somebody look around and see if anything needs a price. But I've, since they're not that busy, at the times that I've been coming, I usually just ask the employees in the back, like, hey, can I get a price on this? And I was for sure that the dude was gonna put like a $9.99 sticker, because he saw it was Star Wars, but he only put a $1.99 sticker. So, picked it up. And then I saw this bag in the toys. Um, you guys saw where I was looking through and uh, it's like a mix it has a Buzz Lightyear it has some other doodad some Ben 10 Star Wars some Marvel a wrestling figure and whenever I find uh, baggies like this I just like to get them and make lots also like Star Wars lot or a wrestling lot or whatever and sell them off that way um, the stuff sells that way so got some Creo in here I'm seeing Creo Naruto Star Wars, we got some good stuff here. Um, that one was $4.99, so five bucks. That was the most expensive thing. But I can make some money off of that. Um, just gotta hold off and make some some lots. I usually try to stay like around, um, you know, in the first class area. Or if not, something that I could, a, a good amount, amount that I could charge. Oh, we got some, um, I just went blank. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little mix in here. I'll show you. I'll spread this out on the table and then I'll show you. In a here are the little figures that were in the, that bag that I got. It's a nice little mix. We got a wrestler here. We got some Star Wars. We got Doctor Doom. This looks like it was from that new fantastic movie disaster. Sandman. Buzz Lightyear. Got a little Joker figure here. Some Transformers. This one's interesting because it looks like it's Red Bull like resembles the Red Bull truck. I don't know if it is Red Bull, but that's what it resembles. We got some Star Trek over here. Star Trek, Star Wars. We got a Jawa, Darth Maul, a red droid. I don't know what those are. If you know what any of these figures are, and I have no idea, be sure to uh, comment down below. And then we got these Play School Marvel, I forgot what they're called, like something heroes. They're like, um, Imagine X, uh, Play School's answer to Imagine X. Yeah, that. We've got some accessories here, which I'll keep and I'll always lot up. People are always looking for missiles and all kinds of goodies. Just like a little Batman. Is this from, I think this is from, um, Batman and Robin. This is like probably a Mr. Freeze, um, accessory. And there's, by the way, if you find toys and you're like missing, you know, wondering what is this, what is that? This is probably a G.I. Joe accessory. Uh, there's all kinds of like groups on Facebook, it's like uh, figure identification, action figure identification groups and um, websites. Like there's a, <coughs> there's a website that, you get, that helps you identify like every G.I. Joe part. It's called 
Gojo. What is it called? I don't remember. But um, yeah, all that info is out there. And then there's a guy who his name is One Man's Junk on YouTube. He does a lot of uh, figure accessory identification too. He he resells vintage toys. We got a cool little Hot Wheel here. Hot Wheel. I'm not sure what that is. Um, from it's a McDonald's Hot Wheel, and then we got a Speed Racer vehicle. Some Bakugan. I think that's what that is. Some um, Pokemon here. And I don't know if this is from the guys from uh, the Robin Hood, the Disney Robin Hood movie, or from another animation. We got some Ben 10 action. Every time you see this little deal here, that's Ben 10. Uh, let's see. We got an Avatar figure here. We got some Chatmay stuff. Chatmay kind of makes kind of makes like generic, the generic toys that you see for Walmart and mostly most likely Walmart. They used to be at Toys R Us too, but I think now it's just Walmart. Uh, Naruto here. I th think this is Creo. I think this is Creo here, which was like a Lego um, type toy. Got a little GI Joe Snake Eyes. Too bad his legs are really loose. But a lot of people are good at repairing this stuff, so you could sell like GI Joes like this. And then this dude, the actor looks familiar, but not sure what movie this is from. What does it say on the back? 2009 Fox. Maybe I'm confusing it for somebody else. Okay. Like I said, this wrestler here, and then this little wrestler. I assume it's a wrestler. He has a crazy face. And that is what came in the little baggie of goodies. Like I said, I'll make like a, a Marvel lot. And if I get more of these, I'll make like a... What are these called? I forgot. Play School lot. I'll make a Star Wars lot. I'll make an Accessories lot. I'll make some... Uh, you know, Spider-Man lot, some Batman lot, wrestler lot, G.I. Joe lot, anime lot, you know, Pokemon. And this, I love this stuff. This is, this is the stuff I love right here. So now that is it. Now this is the end of the video because I got to go home and list. Surprise. I'm surprised I found stuff else for sure. Thinking that I wasn't going to get anything. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that everybody says. Um... But most of all, thank you for watching. I've I hit 80 subscribers. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I know for a lot of people it isn't, but for me it is. Um, just to think that some people are enjoying my videos. So again, if you're watching and you watch uh, often, thanks a lot. Uh, come back tomorrow. I'll have another video for you. And uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one.